Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Now today's tutorial is going to be a bit more on the MC Edit side and um, but I wanted to show you guys what I kind of invented. So what I've invented is a proximity detector that can then flag uh, or then activate a command block as you can see over here or redstone or can pretty much do anything you wanted to do wanted to do so let me just quickly show you how it works there we go so the moment i come within a certain radius of it okay this spawner spawns a falling sand entity the spawning sand entity then drops onto a half slab which breaks it up so it actually breaks into a, a, a normal a droppable block but what I've done is I've actually turned off uh, the, dro the block drop block drop so it will not block a drop drop a block so I don't have any messy entities lying about um, taking up bandwidth and increasing map size at all it instantaneously disappears okay now the reason I'm kind of doing it this way is that for um, working on a map here and we pretty much almost have it finished we just need to do a couple of beta tests during this week we'll probably release it on Friday I'm only showing you a very small part of it and um, I had to have checkpoints every 40-ish uh, blocks of the map so I needed about probably about a hundred of these okay maybe not that much about 50 of these so instead of having a row of 50 command blocks um, that that's focused on that particular um, coordinates uh, I literally just have one command block with a radius set to it so I don't have to I can just copy and paste this in MC edit quite quickly and easily it also helps a lot with um, with lag so if you had like 50 command blocks um, with a clock running updating the whole time yeah I think it might not get very nice <laughs> Okay, so this system works fantastic. Now, to do this, uh, you will need three, four things. You'll need MC Edit, and you'll need the uh, Edit Entities filter, uh, or Change Entities filter. You'll need Create uh, Spawner filter, and you will need uh, Edit Spawner settings, or Change Spawner settings. All three of them by Seth Bling. Now, I'm going to put it all all. In the link below so what I'm going to do I'm going to quickly show you guys how to actually build this okay so let me just uh, go into a world here okay right so I'm back in a build world here so what you want to do uh, you want to come out a few blocks um, I mean this is really up to you how, how far you want then you want to come out five says so one two three four five you want to remove the middle two blocks okay um, you want to come up one or two, it doesn't really matter, I'd come up one. Uh, you then take a slab, now it can be any slab, it doesn't necessarily need to be stone, but I do like stone. Um, so you take your stone and you pop your slab down like so. Actually, let's come up one more. Okay, so we pop down our slab over there, like so. Um, oopsie, and then what we do is... We're going to place our tripwire hook, one on that side, one on that side. So you may need to be sure that the slab is in the center. Then I'm going to come up and over one. Right, so these two I will remove uh, when, we, when we're done. Now, this is the important bit. When I place the sand against this, it's going to fall, and you'll see it's going to break, and it's going to, and it's going to create a, a drop, of, it'll drop a block. So I'm going to place this down and immediately pre press escape so that I capture that falling sand entity. Okay, so here we go. And there we go. Okay, so you'll see I've captured it in mid fall. I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to go into MC Edit. I go and do scoreboard touch, which is the one I'm in. And there we go. So we're now in MC Edit. Okay, and you can see that this red block here is an entity. So anything that's red is an entity. Now this is a falling sand entity. So what I want to do is I want to go and just select it. So I just want to make it, you know, a box around it. It doesn't matter how the big the box is, but it needs to be at least one box block on either side up and down. Okay, so, but apart from that, it doesn't really matter. Okay, right, so there we go. So I've got that block right in the center. Now what I want to do is, um, now you need to excuse me, my filters are a mess. Okay, but the first thing we want to do is we want to go and find something called change entities okay I've got the link in the description so go check it out um, so the change entities I want to leave everything exactly as it is except for the one that says falling block drop item false okay and I'm gonna filter that so what basically happens is that any entities that's within this block um, 
when it gets destroyed, it will no longer drop a block, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. The next thing we want to do, we want to actually go and create a spawner. So that's the second filter we're going to use, create spawners. You want to include position data. This is also very, very important. You want to include position data. And you go filter. And then it'll create a little spawner over there. And then the last one you want to use is change spawner properties. Now this is where you actually s set up when the spawner drops a block. Now you want the minimum spawn delay. I normally set for about six. So that's six ticks. That's less than a second. Maximum spawn delay, six ticks. Current spawn delay. So this is the first time. When the first time it detects somebody, it will immediately drop a block. Then it'll wait six ticks and it'll just continuously spawn every six ticks. It'll spawn one block. You want to spawn one item. You want an entity cap of one. Now this is where also where you want the detection. So this is the player detection range. Now in uh, the map that I'm working on, and by the way, it's called um, uh, Run of the Damned, right? And um, I've got it set to seven, I think. But it can be anything. I mean, it can be very, very narrow. The only reason I've got it set to seven is because the speed at which you you play that game, you know, it I need a bit of a, you know, a bit of a area that it'll capture you because you move very very fast so let's say you just do okay let's just say this is four okay and then spawn radius you can make 10 so this is that block will check within the spawn radius if there is a block already and if there is um it won't spawn another item another another falling sand in entity okay then i'm going to filter this now that's it that's 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 it done now the only thing is you can move the spawner to wherever you want it to be. So you, you would have seen I actually moved mine right up to, so I'm just going to nudge this. So I moved mine right up to um, next to where my command block was. But it doesn't have to be. It can be there. It can be anywhere at all. As long um, as it's close to where you want to detect somebody. I've got it right there because um, I've got the command block and everything that I'm using the radius for. Okay, and then I'm just going to hit the save button. So I'm saving that. I'm going to go back into my game. Okay. Right, and there we go. There's our falling sand detection entity. So if I go close, you'll see it'll it'll fall. But it's not activating yet. So what we need to do is we need to add the string. Okay, and when I come close, you'll see it activates. Okay, and this is it. So now what you can do, you've got outputs um, over here, over here, over here over here at the bottom uh, and the same on the side so you've got outputs you can take from really kind of any anywhere at all okay so um, I mean what you for example can do is if I if I pop in a command block there okay so let's just take any variable so I've got lives on the, on the right hand side so let's just let's just do the scoreboard thing so let's just say a uh, scoreboard uh, players set at p radius equals 10 um, lives 10 so basically what will happen is when I come within a four block radius so let's just set it up so the moment I come within a floor four block radius of that um, spawner it will actually spawn an item it'll drop down it'll immediately appear uh, disappear however it will activate this command block and give me 10 lives so you'll see I am within 10 a 10 block radius of this um, command block but it's not doing anything until I go closer and there you go you'll see it gives me 10 lives okay and that's it this is how really kind of simple it is except for having to go into MC edit and so forth now um, <clears throat> yeah I'm using this to great success in, in the map and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it if you found this useful please do um, leave me a comment rate subscribe um, share it help me uh, help my channel grow i really do appreciate it and thank you very much for all of the comments and and support you guys have shown me so far cool guys thanks for watching and as always i will check your later